So you've been using Shadow for quite a while now and you've been figuring out how can I stream with this? Well, you can stream with it, but you cannot use your webcam with it because it's going to look sluggish. It's going to look slow. It's going to look it's going to look bad. But there's another way you can send your beautiful face onto the Shadow. Pick up your phone, search the app IP Webcam Pro. The free version will work well, but I'm using the pro version on this video. Now open the app, click on video preferences and accept all the questions. Tap on main camera and select your front camera. Then tap on video resolution. I suggest taking something low. Start by 1280 by 720. Then go down to quality, leave it at 20. And then go down to FPS limit and bump this down to 20. Increasing quality will also increase your bandwidth used to send the video to the shadow, and thus increasing latency. Start by a low number and increase as needed. Same with the FPS. Now go down and click start a server. Now you need to know the IP address of your cell phone. Mine is 192.168.1.131. It is also using the port 8080. You need to know that now too. Your next step is to unlock that port 8080. You need to go to your router for that. Depending on your router, search online to see how you can do this. In order to connect your shadow to your phone, you need to know what's your IP address. Go to Google, search what's my IP address, and then copy your IP. Now fire up OBS, add a browser source, now you need to copy paste your IP address Add the default port number, then add slash video feed. Finally, adjust the width and height of your video and press OK. And there you go. Your cell phone is now your shadow webcam. Note that there will be a difference in quality between your normal webcam and your cell phone. You can address this issue by going back to the app and then increasing your quality number. Doing this will increase the bandwidth used by your phone and thus increasing latency. The last step would be to add a delay between your camera and your audio sound. You can do this by going to OBS, click the cog icon next to your microphone and then add a delay.